right guys um i came out here to shoot some videos uh, for some other topics and i brought some of my pistols out here for one of the videos and i noticed something that is uh extremely embarrassing for me and it should be for anybody else but it happens to a lot of us uh we just don't pay attention um it's gonna give me a whole lot of flight for it maybe just a little bit so i can learn from it but anyway um like I said, I had my pistols out here. I was taking them all out of the holsters and everything, unloading them um, so I can get some range ammo put through them. And I noticed some things on two of them in particular, the ones um, that I carry the most, um, and that is rust. Rust, pocket lint, crap, trash, um, all over the end of the barrel, or not the, uh, the barrel, the slide, the front sight, and all that stuff. And it's mainly on the two guns well, the one gun that I carry uh, primarily in the summer is my m and shield. Because um, if you don't know, I live in Alabama and it's like a million and humid and I sweat anyway. And you add all that together and it's just a lot of moisture that accumulates on the gun. Um, doesn't matter where you wear it, appendix or on the hip, it's going to have a lot of moisture. Um, you know, your armpits and your side, they sweat down the side, your belly and your chest, it all sweats down the front. So it doesn't matter where you carry it, it's going to get sweaty if you carry it. Like you're supposed to. So anyway, um, here's my two guns. Uh, let's take a little closer look at it and see what's going on with them. So here's the Glock 26. You can see on the front right there, just rust all around the front of the slide. Uh, the front sight, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got lint all over it. Um, even the, the slide release right there, you can tell it's kind of rusty. Here's my shield. Uh, it's not as bad, but you can tell up around that big dot right there, it's got some rust. And that's very embarrassing because, um, I mean, I don't clean my guns a whole lot, but, you know, I like to take care of my stuff. And that was really disappointing and kind of eye-opening for me. The biggest thing, the, the biggest and the, the kind of scariest thing was when I took the round out of the chamber you know, I haven't, I haven't been out here in a while. I haven't shot my guns in longer than I want to mention. Um, so that bullet has been in the chamber for a while. And the 26 is like my yard work gun. That's what I cut grass, weed eat, and all that stuff in. So it gets a good a fair amount of sweat. And I think it might have got rained on one time. Uh, I think I got caught in the rain cutting grass. But anyway, when I took the round out of the chamber, this is what I saw. Let me flip the camera around. That's what I saw. Super rusted, corroded. Like I'm almost too embarrassed to show this on YouTube to the gun community, gun culture. You guys are going to roast me for it. But it's good constructive criticism. I'll definitely learn from it. I'm almost afraid to shoot that. Like that. I mean, that gun, like what if... What if I needed it? And that was the, the, the bullet that was in the chamber when I pulled it out and went to use it. I don't, and I don't know if that'll go off. It it probably would, but, you know, would it come out of the chamber? Would it uh, would it put another one in? And all that rust around the, the case, that means there's probably, oh, yeah, there's rust all in the chamber, the edge, like on a, a handgun around the edge of the chamber where it leads into the barrel rust all in that and it's oh kind of makes me uh, irritated um and embarrassed but it's just something i'll have to go home and clean and keep an eye on um i never really had a problem with that before i don't know why it's a problem now maybe i just haven't cleaned them or kept them oiled up that good but anyway check your stuff out um you know once a week every day you know if you're going to use it make sure it's in good condition before you use it keep it oiled keep your ammo rotated especially in the summer when you're sweating and if you live in the south where it's super humid um, just check your stuff make sure it works when you need it to